Well, welcome back everyone to the last day of our Easter Holiday Club from Salem Baptist Church. Okay, you, as we've said for the past two days, our Holiday Club is based on this book, The Garden, The Curtain and the Cross, uh, which you can get from the Good Book Company. It's a beautiful book, beautifully illustrated. I recommend it to any parents watching. Okay, we're going to start with prayer again. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we can come together yet again to have a bit of fun and to learn more about you and your wonderful plan that we can spend eternity with you, that you make a way for us to come back in to be with God. So I pray a blessing on our time today in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, we're going to sing a new song. Some of you might know it. It's called God, I, uh, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. And I'm just going to play it on the piano. So join in. So I've got some actions that you can join in with. OK, here we go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My debt to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I lift your name We're going to do that one at the end and we're also going to do praise them on the trumpet with our instruments at the end and talking about instruments we're going to have a look at some of the instruments some of the photographs of some of the instruments you made yesterday Okay, and don't worry if you haven't been able to send your photograph in just yet. We can show all the photographs again on our Easter Sunday Sunday School same uh, website. Okay, now if you look behind, we've made some changes to our paradise scene. I wonder if you can spot any of the changes. I'll just move out the way and you can have a good look to see if there's anything new that you haven't seen before. And we'll point them out again at the end to see if we've got them all right. You had a good look? Okay, now, 
Yesterday, we learned how God instructed uh, the people and through Moses how to build a place of worship for him where they could come near, but not all the way near, and they called the place the temple. Right, we're just going to recap on what happened. God gave Moses the instructions on how to build the temple and he told them that there had to be a big curtain to separate the holy place where God would dwell from them. And no one was allowed in except the high priest once a year. And the curtain was made of the most beautiful colours. It was purple and red and blue and it had gold woven into it. And there were gold keep out angels to remind the people that God said, because of your sin, you can't come in. So the curtain was there in the temple. So we're going to start and we talked about how many years had passed, generations had passed, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, but the curtain, the keep-out curtain in the temple stayed shut. Okay. So then, one day, God's son came to live in this world as a person. He was called Jesus. This is part of God's amazing plan. Now, Jesus always did what God said, and Jesus never sinned. And Jesus visited the temple where the big keep-out curtain hung. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place where there would be nothing bad and no one sad. But people still didn't want to let God be in charge. They decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that has ever happened. It was the most sad day of all time. But Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? On the cross, Jesus took all our sin, all the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause. Jesus took them all from us. And when he did, something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. The curtain tore. God ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place is open again. Because Jesus died, we can go in. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb and they were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then, the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see the body in the tomb and it wasn't there. A little while later, Jesus' friends were all together and suddenly, Jesus was there, alive. Suddenly his friends weren't sad and now they were so, so happy. God brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus has sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there too. He tells us, God says it's wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad and no one sad. We will see God and speak to God and just enjoy 
being with God, just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him. And it's all because of Jesus. And we will say every day, thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. And you can start saying that today. All right, I'm going to show you how you can start saying that and how you can start uh, being with God. Now, we, we talked about sin, didn't we, earlier, and how uh, Adam and Eve, our first parents, disobeyed God, which is what sin is, isn't it? Shove off, God. I'm in charge. No to your rules. We all do that, don't we? All of us do that. We've all sinned. And that's why God says you can't come in because of your sin. But Jesus made a way for us to come in because he paid the price of our sin on the cross. He took our place so that the way to God is open. Now, if you want Jesus to take your sin on the cross, I want you to open up your, you should all have um, the Garden and Curtain and Cross activity book like this. And if you haven't, and in the middle, this I'll just explain if you haven't in a minute, there is a page that has, says the cross, okay? It says people still didn't want God to be in charge. They put Jesus on the cross to die. And it was the most bad thing that ever happened. But on the cross, Jesus took our sin all the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause jesus took them all and there's some pictures in the book which you might have seen of some of the sad things and bad things that we do do let's have a look at them here can you see them see this boy bullying his little brother or a little child it's the bad thoughts here See this child very upset because something bad's happened to her. And see these two men arguing. Look at the dirty language they're using. Look at the anger, these two men. Now we all do things like that, don't we? And I want you to think just now of something you know that you've done wrong. It should come into your heart. If you just really think you want to get right with God, you want to enjoy being with God, think of something you know you have done wrong. Let's just be quiet a minute and think. And say sorry to Jesus. Lord, I am sorry for that bad thing I did, or I said, or I thought, or I was going to do. I want G to put it on the cross today and ask Jesus to forgive me so that I can be with him, become a child of God. In Jesus' name. Now, if you've thought of something that you know you've done wrong and you, you want to draw a picture or write it, I want you to write it on the cross, okay? On the activity page. Yeah, can you see? And if you haven't got one of these books, just get a piece of paper and draw a big cross like that with space so that you can write your prayer, your sorry prayer to Jesus on the cross and ask him to forgive you. Thank you. And then thank him. Thank you, Jesus, for taking my sin on the cross. Now, if you've done that, you should also find in your activity packs there would have been an envelope a bit like this in this day three activity pack. It was an envelope like this with your name on it. And in it was an invitation that said, super grateful. And it says, you are invited where? God's perfect place. When? Forever. Entry fee. Jesus is death. It's free. Jesus has already paid the entry fee. And respond. You need to repent, that's to say sorry, and believe the good news. Believe that Jesus has paid the price for your sin. And then you will become a child of God. And that leads us 
into our craft. You should have this last bag. This is a simple craft. In it, you will have a, a gold piece of card like that, and you will have a piece of elastic. Now this, if you're a child of God, that makes you the son and daughter of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. So you're going to make a coronet. That's like a small crown. And you use the elastic bands to attach it. So it's a bit like this. I'll put this one on. Angela kindly made this for me uh, earlier. You see? Ooh. Elastic bands broken. Never mind. My head's too big. You can see there. And there's jewels on it. I don't know whether you... You might have some things in the pack. If you've got things at home to add. Sequins, jewels, bits of glitter. You can put it on. And you can decorate your coronet. So you make your coronet. That's straightforward. And the other thing is as well. You should have... A little plastic bag it says emergency blanket and it's actually a big gold foil blanket actually it might be too big for one child you could probably cut it in two in there so you take that out and you're going to make a cloak like a royal cloak now Angela made one earlier I'll show it to you isn't this beautiful and she can wear that with your coronet, and I want some photographs. Perhaps you get your mum or your dad to take a photograph. You're wearing your coronet if you're a child of God, you're a royal child of God with your gold cloak. And in your bag, to help your cloak fasten, you should have a bit, it's called Velcro. Have I got any here? Yes. This stuff, it's sticky back. Velcro, which, which you can make fasteners out of. See, it's very sticky. But to attach that, you'll probably need to use the bits of um, shiny paper or card to make uh, a clasp, which you'll need to sellotape on either side of your cloak like that and sellotape it. Because the Velcro won't, will rip, if you don't put your card in, it'll rip the, the foil blanket. So you sellotape that on, then you put your Velcro like this. You see, Angela's already put hers on. See it? And she can attach that there. She's made, you can do any sort of fancy brooch. You could put jewels and um, gold bits and everything. And then the other bits there. So you can fasten it. All right, can you see that? So I shall try and put this on so you can see what it looks like on me. Coronet I've already broken. And I want yours to be. So I'm a child of God. Because I believe Jesus died for my sins. There we are. And the coronet will go like this. And you are the royal child of God. So I want some photographs of you wearing your cloaks and your coronets to send in. Again, you can get them by. F well, it doesn't matter what time you can get them this time. We're going to show them on Sunday. Okay? So I want to see your photographs of you dressed as children of God. Okay. Now, take my cloak off. Have you spotted the differences on our display? Shall I point them out to you? Okay, I should think you've probably all seen Adam and Eve here enjoying themselves in the Garden of Eden. The dragonfly. The Lee cheeky lemur in the corner. I think that was it. Yes, that was it. So it was Adam and Eve, the dragonfly, and the cheeky lemur added to the display. Oh, and the other butterfly, yes. See, I'd forgotten that, but I'm sure you haven't. So you spotted that, right. Now, if you've got your instruments, from yesterday, your homemade guitars, your cymbals and your homemade trumpets. I want you to join in uh, with Lord, I, with uh, praise him on the trumpet after we sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. So we'll sing, Lord, I lift your name on high first and then get your instruments out for praise him on the trumpet. So we'll finish with a big celebration of Jesus. Okay, then, here we go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show.
Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show. need your instruments get your instruments your guitars your trumpets and your cymbals and we're going to finish with praise them on the cymbal praise them on the trumpet the cymbal and the harp and we're going to make a joyful noise to the lord and then we're going to finish with a prayer so don't forget to send your photographs in here we go then finishing prayer thank you lord for everything you've done this week thank you for blessing us thank you that you sent jesus to make the way back to you that jesus took our sins on the cross that we can live with you forever as a child of god as a son and a daughter of the king of kings and the lord of lords forever and ever amen all right we're going to do a memory verse from John's Gospel. Remember, John was a special friend of Jesus and he wrote the Gospel telling people the truth about why Jesus came. And this is what he wrote. In John chapter 1, verse 12. We'll read it to you again. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Amen.